Welcome to Mark and Sandy in Motion. We just recently bought a new house and it's renovation time again. Come along. So it's 2222. Two, two, two. We're at a new house that we've been in for two months. And uh, this is how it looks right now. We want to take this so we can show the transformation. And this is all I want to do. Relax. Don't do it. <coughs> what does that say? I'm gonna no. stay home with my cat. Uh. <coughs> Nothing much is gonna change in here, in here except for the walls and the carpeting that's gonna be flooring. So we're gonna put all flooring down here throughout. The walls are gonna be painted. These little mini walls are gonna be knocked down and we're gonna replace them with new uh, railings that you could see through. <coughs> so, uh, so when you walk through here, you won't we'll be looking right at walls. It'll be like um, railings, see-through railings, whatever, because unfortunately that's where the basement goes. And we are going to have this middle section taken out. So this is going to be one heck of a change. We're going to lose the fireplace and about six inches of this wall. So gonna wrap around here okay. Sandy and Linda have already started painting so you get a sneak peek at the what the walls are gonna be Sandy painted the cabinets white they used to be that color and we did the two-tone so it's a charcoal on the bottom so all this is gonna be taken out she's gonna sacrifice those cabinets this wall that sacrifice you're going somewhere else mm down the base so this is a uh, look so like i said it's going to be a really nice flooring new new uh paint on the walls can't wait here's another view of the kitchen These are the original cabinets. You can see we already started painting them. It's actually a light gray. I said white before, but it's a light gray. And with, and with that, I'm signing off. Hi, I just wanted to show you how it's coming along. This is like the second week. We just picked out railings yesterday for, for this here. We're gonna replace these two mini walls, I think they call them. And this has tore down quite a bit since the last time I videoed, which was just a few days ago. So we created this much space. And this piece here is coming out. The electrician is coming today to figure out where all the wires are going to go so they can rip out all these studs. Move electrical over here. And then here are these lines indicate where the wall is going to come down so it's basically going to come level with this piece here come all the way across there's handy so everything's a mess again as usual this is how we're accustomed to living now <laughs> but this is it this is the last time we've always been living like this uh -huh. right <laughs> This china cabinet, we're taking this apart because we're finally going to uh, part ways with it. And we're going to just update it. We're going to get another one that looks a little more, well, I guess fit more of the scheme. So, it's all coming, it's all coming along pretty good. Hmm? Because it's something smaller. Yeah. And, uh, so this is the thermostat. Our electrician today is going to tell us if we could put it over there. We don't know yet if it can be close to that window there. I'm not sure. Sandy brought up that point. And then this here is going to come out. It's the vent for the, uh, well, we used to have the uh, gas fireplace sitting right here. And then this is your piping that comes from the sink. I think they refer to it as a would you call it a stink pipe? Yeah, we had to deal with this in our other home. It goes up 
through the ceiling and it goes out of the roof. There's a vent up there at the top. But we don't want anything here. We want this to be completely open. So this is gonna be cut somewhere around here. And then there's a filter. I can't remember the name of it. There may be one option that we have to go with. If we can't get the wires moved where we want them to, if we can get them all moved to the central location here and mm. make this. Oh, just have the corner piece. There. Yeah. But all the wires could bear that. Maybe that might be the cheapest outlet instead of moving electrical because that's expensive. Yeah. So if we have to have a corner post there, it won't be too bad. Mm -mm. And then, uh, all this all this will come out here and then we'll just have this one wall right here because of obviously the cabinets are up against it and stuff so we'll lose our little curved walkway which i adore but i don't know why it doesn't match anything else it reminds me of when i lived in florida they had these a lot yeah in the I mean, older I homes like them if they would have done them to every doorway mm. <laughs> yeah they didn't do it to that they didn't do that it to doorway <laughs> It would have been cool of her to go into the office. That would have been nice too. Yeah, so it's kind of inconsistent, I guess. But and they have one there that goes into our master bathroom. So there's two it's of a them. A little bit different. I like yeah. the one in the bathroom because it, it fits the bathroom. That does not. Mm. Anyway. So. so this is it. This is our 1,700 square foot house. The, the master is through that doorway there. That's going to be uh, the only thing that's going to be done there. I think I mentioned earlier was just the flooring. So all this and the paint on the walls and the curtains or whatever the blinds on the windows. So there's more in there. But all this uh, nasty carpeting is coming up. It's not nasty. It's just that we're not real big proponents of carpeting and stuff. So all this is going to be ripped out. But this will be the last stage. And then, well, after the flooring is done, that's when they're going to put up the railing we just chose. So, we'll update this one. That's phase two. We'll be back in another day to show you more. The next time I video for an update, all this will be completely gone. <laughs>